Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Mesa Research Facility. The time is 8.42 a.m. Current topside temperature is 91 degrees. We can estimate the high today. 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from the Area 8 topside dormitories to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers need to remain safe and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled passengers should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to board a high security train at the Central Transit Hub. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the Retinal Clearance System, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be admitted to the high security branch of the transit system. If you wish to transfer to the Sector B or C medium security lines, you may do so before you reach the Central Transit Hub at the Area 9 security checkpoint. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only and requires that you wear your security badge at all times. Calhoun? Looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, Calhoun. This train is now transferring to the Sector C line of the transit system. This is a medium security area of the Black Mesa facility. Be sure to wear your identification badge at all times. security facilities. Hold on a minute. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. Shouldn't you be on duty by now?
Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. Uh-oh, now what? Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. I can't be bothered right now. How's it going? Here you go, Calhoun. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Good morning, Gordon. Sorry, Calhoun, I'm on duty. Why do you security guards always insist on bothering us?
Have a good one, Calhoun. Please, leave me alone. I have very important work to do. you have your own job to do? Don't you have more important... That doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course. Shouldn't you be guarding something right now? Shouldn't you be guarding... Excuse me, but I'm rather busy. Do you have any idea what to do next? I couldn't even venture a guess. If you're waiting for the tram to Sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Well, it's about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Make this thing work so we can get on with this miserable day. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them.
Calhoun, how did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. Please leave me alone. I don't want them to hear Go through the canal. Thank <laughs> you. 
I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <coughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me, if you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. Thank you. 
Someone let us out of here! Rescued at last! Thank God you're here! No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. I'll be right behind you. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me?
I'm not Dr. Rosenberg, but you'll still help me, won't you?
Can anyone hear me? Hello? I'm in here. Can anyone hear me? Hello? I'm in here. Can anyone hear me? Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. Lead the way, Calhoun. I need to rest a bit before I can go on. Alright, let's stick together. Lead the way, Calhoun. Yes, we'll have a better chance if we stick together.
Yes, here it is. We'll need to break through this to get to the elevator. We should have chosen the Lambda Reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures, with all their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Dr. Rosenberg, thank God you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now there's no time to waste. Looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Simmons, can you hear me? It's ready. Enter the 
teleporter.
The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. I can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Follow me. generators that were used to service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the freight lift. Good luck. Together. If we don't get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Look out! Get out of here! I can...
Hoping you'd show up. begun preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. down here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Everything is looking up. Oh no! The primary coolant line has been ruptured! Calhoun, go to the valve located on the catwalk and release the pressure! Hurry, before the system overheats! This is no time for games, Calhoun. If the secondary coolant pipes burst, the machine will explode. You good. Now keep turning the crank until the pressure level reaches normal.
almost there. Okay, the system is fully charged. Throw the switch located at the window of the control room. There, the field is over. Go now, Walter. Very good, Calhoun. I'll be charging the system for the next teleport event. There he is. Calhoun, you've arrived. When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh, no. There's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Thank God you made it. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this hair-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. <laughs> 